We're gonna have a great electronics hour. Stick around. I've got an amazing, amazing tablet and a last look at our Samsung Today special. If you need a beautiful TV, we've got it and it's coming up. But first, here's what's gonna happen. Now, we have something we do special. It's called Five and Five. It's five items in five minutes. And here's the challenge. You get like these unbelievable deals, but you gotta move really, really fast and they're really, really limited. That will be first, okay? But after that, here's a couple of sneak peek that are coming up and this one is gorgeous first time ever at the price you're seeing right now here we go guys yeah this is fun it was it's priced at 210 look how pretty look how, oh my gosh if you love denim how do you how do you even pass this up oh my gosh so anyway Appraised value 210, HSN price 160. It was supposed to be 111 or 115, 114. And then right before we went on the air, the little you know, pricing gods said, nope, let's go under 100. I think that's gonna sell out extremely fast because if you love your denims, it's so perfect for the summertime. That is a great piece. And then check this out, I'm wearing it too. <gasps> my heart be still, this is my showstopper coming up. First time you've ever, ever seen it and I love this because it's all about these amazing colors of turquoise so you have this great turquoise combination huge big beads by the way here it is it's this blue green combination the appraised value is two hundred dollars we're at 119 and you know what if you're a turquoise fan then this is your necklace it's so beautiful you could really really just wear it so many different ways and we do have the matching earrings as well now you ready Okay, so the other night I was with Jay and I had zero new mine finds. And so thank you, Jay and team. They made up for it. Guys, we're not even giving you any information, but you're looking at three brand new gemstones that have never, ever, ever been on the air before. Yep, you gotta wait. I'm not telling you. And by the way, stick around because you never know when they're gonna pop up. It's gonna be these three amazing surprises. Now, here's a little tip. Of course, you can go onto hsn.com and find them early. And I would really recommend that because for those of you, and I know you so much, you love Jay's pieces, you always want the really, really unique stones and the stories behind those are crazy great so it's gonna be really really fun all right so you ready we're gonna do five do you want to talk about Jay okay so here's what's gonna happen let me tell you a little bit about Jay he's one of my favorite characters in the whole wide world and he truly is a character he has been in the gemstone and jewelry business for a very very long time and what I love is he has this just wonder lust. He will go anywhere it takes to bring us these really, really great gemstones. And literally, he's a pilot, so if he has to, he will fly himself in. And he's got the most amazing stories. The vast majority, I don't think we're allowed to tell on the air, actually, but <laughs> you're still gonna hear some really, really inter in interesting stories uh, as we go throughout the next couple hours. Hi, Jay, welcome back. How you doing? I hope you mean character in a, in a positive way. <laughs> of course. <laughs> Hey, you know what, Jay? It's any way you want to take that, all right? <laughs> okay. We're friends. Oh, I can take it. Very good. And by friends. the way, I love your turquoise couch you're sitting on. All right. Oh, you know, yeah. I, well, I, I won't share the I'm I'm surrounded by turquoise. Okay. Literally. All, all, yeah, you oh. know Sheila. Oh, I can She's see a decorator. I love me some Sheila. All right, here's what we're going to do, Jay. <laughs> five and five. Let's do it. We're going right now. Take it to the start now with a bang. We're not even messing around tonight. It's like, let's just bring it. Look at this ring. Hello. Okay, so here we go. Our first and five and five. Here we go. Five through 12 are the sizes. You guys have made it a customer pick. I got a handful and it's on sale. And again, I promise great pricing, not $139.90, which it's well worth it. That's a ton of silver and a beautiful piece of turquoise. We're at $79.98. Jay, I love this design. That is so unique. You know, what's really cool about this, okay, the, if you've ever been to New Mexico, you know, we're famous for the Zia sign. In fact, it's on our, on the New Mexico state flag. And this is also the only, this turquoise comes from New Mexico. It comes from Silver City, New Mexico. So it's a New Mexico turquoise in a New Mexico themed uh, setting. That's gorgeous. Oh, you're getting good Isn't at these gorgeous? five and fives, Jay. You had 11 more seconds. <laughs> <laughs> Usually, you guys, seriously, usually I'm pushing them along. I'm like, hi, Yoshi. Yeah. Usually I'm pushing them along. I'm like, okay, so, that was, so fun. Um, that was yeah, five so and fun two minutes. I don't have you prodding me. <laughs> <laughs> All right, now we're moving on to number two. It's right here. Oh, my gosh, you guys, if you love lapis, 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 ch okay, check this out. It looks like the coolest three-dimensional pyramid because, quite frankly, it is. 
Originally $234, look at this, we're over $100. Oh, and yeah, we give you the 18-inch necklace with the uh, sterling silver extender on the back. Hurry on this one. Jay, where'd you find this one at? You know, this is uh, that's remarkable because this is one of the uh, the old gallery pieces that we that we had done. This is really super nice lapis. But if you look at the work on this, just in its three dimensional inlay, where they it's actually the setting is three dimensional, and then they've inlaid it. And, and this is uh, this is a uh, um, one of our designers who's uh, who does some really really cool stuff. I mean, some very unusual uh, designs. And there again, you couldn't build that. I could I could actually couldn't make it. Uh, for that price. So oh, that, yeah. that's really incredible. You know, guys, you know what, and if you love lapis and you like that really blue, blue lapis, that good quality, do not pass that up. That is such a nice offer. Okay, I've got another ring I'm gonna show you. Here we go, guys. This is the green nephrite. It's beautiful. It is indeed jade. Um, and again, clearance price. So here we go. It started out as $87. Okay, $34.95. That is the most affordable piece in the entire show tonight. And I really love the fact that you have found the green nephrite jade because it is rather unusual do you know that in 40 so 44 years of doing this um, I'm not saying I, I I bought things that I thought were jade um, you know jade's very specific uh, it either has to be nephrite or it has to be jadeite and this material right here we found in Pakistan and sure enough when it came back it tested as jade now I will tell you this right now I've been trying for about six months to put another deal together with them at the mine and be able to, you ought to read, like now this is hit, uh, uh, the GIA, they're doing all these papers and stuff on it. The prices on this stuff have just gone skyrocketed. So even even if I could do that, if I would do that ring again, I, I couldn't even sell it at the original $87.90 that okay, they had, to, we could even do it at that. Jay, if I just bought it and melted the silver and did something else with the gem, it would be worth, I mean, 30, what, $34? It's crazy, yeah. right? I mean, just the, just, the, just the pieces and components. Yeah, absolutely. And it's really a beautiful piece. All right, look at this one. Oh, I gotta tell you, interesting story that's been happening, and it'll be a 30-second story. There's 200 available. Um, everything we've shown in any version of yellow in terms of fashion, Jay, has completely sold out in all the shows I've done recently. This is so cool to see a yellow necklace. Yeah, and this is a very unique uh, material. Um, it's called uh, Bahina, 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 the Bahinas, it, you know, people say it different ways. I love this big, bold look. Really these good. are all hand cut. Look how chunky this is. And again, okay. anything on five and five, it, these are just crazy prices. Look at this on Orshi. Look at the size of this thing. Is that amazing? <laughs> what? And I love these very contemporary uh, cuts. These are all custom cushion cut, custom beads. And we're gonna wrap up on this 18 inches. And again, you have two and three quarters on the end. We've got a ton of you on the line right now. Of course, you're like, yes, I think I am gonna jump in and grab this. All right, one more and then our five and five will be wrapped up. Here we go. This is Aragonite and Turquoise together. Uh, just like that yellow one, Jay, really bold, really fun. $199.90 was the original price. Amazing deal, it's 75, 78, and we've got flex all over the place. Jay, or Jay, just love this soft blue colors in this. Well, if you look at this, this blue Argonite, uh, first time that we've, uh, you know, we, we had just discovered this a couple of years ago. If I did, if I wasn't standing where I was when I when I was looking at this, which was in Mongolia, I, I would say that I was in the Dominican Republic and it was Larimar. Yeah. And then we've <laughs> used this Andy, high, high blue, Andean blue. This is just unbelievable. What a crazy, crazy price. But I mean, look at that. It just screams at you. The color combination is just so vibrant, so amazing. Oh, I do totally love it. And guess what, Jay? We're cheating. We're going to make it a six and six. You ready? Jay doesn't even know. Okay. <laughs> All right, so the other night, Jay and I put this on, and we literally gave everybody the last of our two hours together this little teeny sneak peek. We got to add a lapis too here. Now, the first one we showed you with that great pendant was a single strand. This is a triple strand of beautiful lapis. Oh, is it gone? Okay, so guys, this one is already sold out. I told you, you had to move quickly. So here it is. One more, the six and six is 134. We're at under 100. And Jay, can you give us a couple of seconds on this real quick? Okay, if you, if you look at this, okay, look at the quality of the lapis. And Suzanne, you know you know me very well. And what have we been saying for the last couple of years, right? You're gonna see less and less lapis beads. Yep. Well, the reason you're selling less and less lapis beads is I can't get this quality of, of rough material. In fact, to tell you the truth, um, everything that you've seen this year 
and that you'll see toward the end of the year is the only reason I'm even able to do it is coming out of my private stash. So wow. the, the problem so this uh, is, isn't even all, new lapis that you're finding from your sources. This, a lot, this, this lapis um, is, uh, can be over, can be as, as 15 to five years old. I wow. mean, this is stuff that I've been, oh been stashed in stock, and it's kind of my private stash that I, right. it's kind of like my emergency go-to lapis rough stock, you right. know? Right. And But I'm not able, I'm just going ahead and starting to use it now because I'm not able to replenish it. So, you know, when it's gone, it's really? gone, and then I just, yeah. I won't be able to, no, and then I just won't have lapis beads anymore. And guys, but we're not, I, mean, I, I, too. I just, but I just see it in the market, too. Are you seeing huge, huge yeah. influx of lapis anywhere? Oh, heavens no. No, 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 no not I don't, at all. I don't see it anywhere. No. And the stuff that I'm seeing is really, really low grade. Really bad. Denim lapises, that yeah. kind of thing. I'm seeing a lot of treated lapis, that they're taking low grade lapis. Oh. and then kind of making it try to look better. Yeah. 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 Making yeah a this bit is the real better. thing, kids. All right. Here's a quick <laughs> update. I think we've sold four or 500 right now. So just stay on the line for that. Uh, just want to give you our little six in six. Uh, here's something that is absolutely brand new. Oh, we have such a good show to show you today. I'm so excited about it. Okay. Hold on one second. Ugh. All right. Here we go. I know she's wearing it and it looks fantastic on her. It is our Mm -hmm. Butterscotch Amber Graduating Bead Necklace. Now, little heads up on this one. I have a total of 500 to go around. You've never seen it before in this design. We do have the matching earrings, which is lovely. And I just love this butterscotchy uh, amber. It's so soft and pretty, and it has a, a real richness to it. You know, in, uh, just so everybody knows, uh, in amber, you know, in a amber comes in a multitude of co colors. Um, this, this particular material, the only place you ever find butterscotch amber, um, like the Ukrainian material that we have out of the Ukraine, um, there's literally zero butterscotch amber in it. Um, this material comes out of the Baltic Sea in Lithuania, and that's, that's where we're, um, that's the only place that right now, that's my only current source. But you have to, when you see a necklace like this, just understand this. Less than 5% of the total material that we get, the total yield of material that we get, mm -hmm. is this color. This is a very, very rare color. You know what I love about amber so much, Jay, is one, the age of it, because I think that's so special. But number two, I love how it's so lightweight, because you know I love your necklaces and I own a lot of your jewelry, but in the summertime when it's really hot, you're like, oh, I do not want to put on a big heavy necklace. With amber, it's whisper light, and that's kind of the magic of owning it. It makes it so comfortable to wear, even on a sticky day. Well, you know, and actually, you know, that's how they harvest it. Uh, actually, this particular material, they dive for it. And oh. amber is lighter than the salt water. It's lighter than water. And so it floats to the top. So what they'll do is they break it loose. They put it in these, um, their collection bags. And then it, uh, they let it go. And it goes up to the top. It floats to the top. And then they got the boat up there. And, and they hook it and gather it. Right there, you're seeing where a lot of people, that's actually um, there. That's in the Baltic Sea. And that's how a lot of the amber, they collect it to a lot of the scavengers where, and that's butterscotch, that's very unusual. I, it, you know, we're just pho photographing right there, but where it actually breaks loose on the sea bottom. And you can see people out there, do you see they have the rakes and the nets and what they're doing, that's right after a big storm. And then they'll just comb the beaches like that and they'll gather the amber. Okay, I just gotta give you guys a quick update. Our five and five uh, lapis is gone. That three strand that I gave you that sneak peek at, you guys jumped all over it. 400 have now been ordered. Like, and you just saw it for maybe 30 seconds. So I just want you to know, because we have a big night. Three new mine finds. We have a lot of brand new items, including this great butterscotch amber. So this is a really good night, but at least if you see something that really catches your eye, at, at a minimum, jot the item number down. So there it is. That's, that's the lapis right there, the three strand. And again, I, here's what's interesting. You're seeing just dribs and drabs. And if you follow Jay a lot, you know what I'm talking about. You just don't, we used to do these big lapis, oh, and, oh, and here and here. And, you know, I'd be happy to have a lapis ring right now or a bracelet for that matter, but I do not have one available. So again, if you're really interested in it, it's such a great stone. Do not miss it out. Uh, but if you want this, and here's what I love. You can wear this amber with all of your spring summer colors. So think khaki and whites and ivories. I've got on a Marla Wynn top that I'm wearing. In fact, my whole outfit, courtesy of Marla Wynn. Um, but then think about the fall. That's what I love about amber. Also, one of my favorite color combinations is denim and brown anything. I, I typically, when I wear 
My turquoise, I like it back to the brown family. So that would be a dark brown, chocolate, khaki, you know, uh, taupey colors. Um, but here's, so here's that flip side. If you love wearing denim, when you put amber back to it, I think it's striking, Jay. Um, and certainly this is something for me that can be very, very casual. We know that, a V-neck, a T, whatever. But if you really want to elevate this, it goes to that next level on a simple, pretty black dress. Or if you're wearing a turtleneck in the wintertime, and you want an elegant look, I think it kind of takes you there simply because of how you've done sort of a classic graduated beaded look, Jay. It's, it's really quite lovely. I like to see, you know, it's big, bold, kind of contemporary. And, um, you know, I designed this. And when I designed this, what I did is I took the material. I wanted to keep it simple. I wanted it to be about the material, uh, you know, about the butterscotch amber, about that. That look, you got that nice, big, bold look. And, you know, just what you're saying is, is this is, you know, what's great with amber is you can dress down with it mm. or you can dress up with it. Sure. I, I would have no, I would have no problem of, uh, uh, taking to Sheila to one of our events or to the club when we go to the club and um, have her wear something like this. I mean, it's, it can be very, very dressy. It just depends on what you, how you want to accessorize with it. And you know, another thing that's really great about this and great about Amber, and you kind of alluded to this, but this is what I love about Amber. You can have a big, bold look and a lot of us, uh, and I'm one of them. I, you know, I, I have, um, I had a horse accident one time where a horse decided to come on roll over on top of my head. Oh, wow. <laughs> well, well, that I, explains I, I, a lot, Jay. Thank you. Yeah, <laughs> well, that, and I was, I was dropped as a baby a lot, but. <laughs> I bet but, you're a very squirmy uh, little kid. <laughs> I, I have, um, I have three crushed vertebrae in you my, really do. in my. Oh yeah. gosh, and, I didn't forget uh, that. Okay, but I, I'm telling you, like with that, a lot of people who have neck problems, you could wear something like this. This is a solution. If you want something that's big and bold, but you don't want something, um, you know, that that's really uh, overwhelming around your neck as far as weight, but you still want that look. This this is a great option for you. Just a really wonderful option. Or, or as I said earlier too, you know how it gets so smoking hot in the summertime, and I always feel kind of naked without my jewelry on. It's such a great alternative for those hot days because you just won't feel it. It, it is it's so crazy lightweight. That's kind of one of the beauties of amber. And then I love the historical significance of amber. You know what? In Russia, they have an entire amber room. I'd love to see. It's almost like a palace. Uh, so it's got this great history behind it, but also it's very comfortable to wear. All right, stay right there. We do not have a lot of these left. This is going to be a fun, fun night. You're going to see lots of sellouts before we're done. But let me tell you a little bit about our HSN card. So with our HSN card, here's what's kind of cool about it, is you have access to a lot of great things that normally you uh, do not have access to unless you have the card, right? And one of those is when you shop for the first time with us, we give you $10 off. I think that's okay. It's pretty good. But what's really great, for example, when I get to my Samsung Today Special Television, you can use that card coming up at 11 o'clock and get 12 months VIP financing that nobody else can get. We'll tell you more about that a bit later, but check it out. Vanessa Williams is back with her beautiful fashions. A fresh take on timeless classics. For all women, simple, easy, elegance. Let's get it, let's get it! Style that works today, every day. Vanessa Williams on HSN. We love our gemstones to be beautiful, colorful, and durable. That's why we give some of them a little more love. Enhancements may require special care and may not be permanent while others may last a lifetime. For more information, visit hsn.com and search gemstone to see our gemstone enhancement chart. What happens every night at midnight? We launch our very best value of the day. Definitely the Today Special always got me excited because it's always at a great value. I definitely watch for the Today Special at midnight. Whether or not I need it, just want it. And this is the one that you've been waiting for. The Today Special is very tempting to shop. I'd pop in online just about every day. I know it's a good value. It's our top selling Today Special ever. It gives me that extra push, you know, it's a no-brainer. Love watching HSN? 
then take us with you in the HSN app. Everything on your TV is streaming live on your phone. Anytime, any place, we're always with you. Download the iPhone or Android app today. Worry about one less thing with our Protection Plus plans at HSN. Electronics, fitness equipment, even jewelry can be covered. Shop smarts and protect your purchase. It's easy to add when you're checking out. Search Protection Plus at hsn.com for more details. Well, we've got so much going on tonight. Hey, I'm Suzanne Runyon. Jay King, join me. He's actually in his beautiful home, which is in... Um, no, I knew. I've, I've been over to his place. Not his home. I've been over to have dinner with him. Why? Oh, Vero Beach. Vero Beach, Florida. I knew I'd remember. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> I still got it, Jay. <laughs> I know you have it. I just don't know where it's at. <laughs> <laughs> I have it. I just lost it. Or it's in my purse right now. I'm not sure. Anyway, Jay, it's always so much fun. Oh, by the way, I still have to compliment you. The three new mind finds coming up. I am so excited to hear the stories. You can't tell them now. Do not do that, my man. You cannot. You guys, you have to stay with me because they're brand new stones we've never had on the air. That crazy vivid blue you're seeing right there, like I am just craving to hear how in the world he found that stone. And then look at that one. Like these are true collectibles. If you go online, you can obviously buy them early, but you gotta hang out if you wanna hear the true story about them. All right, Jay, so now we're gonna move on. This one's great, you guys. Good story behind this. This one is one of your all-time favorites. And boy, Oshi, when you had it on the very first time we did the preview of this, it was just so eye-catching, right? Do not let this pass out because at the full price of $160.25, you have made this a customer pick. And I even have some of the reviews in my hot little hand. So you love this one. It's awesome at the full price. To see this tonight and be able to get it at a substantial savings, basically $60 off, is so exciting because we know it's an A-plus winner and now it's an A-plus plus winner because of the savings. Look at this. In fact, just let me give you an idea of the stone size. If that were a ring, just that one stone right there in the bottom, look how awesome that would be as a single stone set on a ring. Beautiful. And they're big and bold, totally faceted, which is cool. It's capturing the light. And then of course, there's a cool story behind it. But here we go. This is 18 inches long. You do have your two and three quarter inch sterling silver extender on the back and the best hook ever made by anyone on there. Then on top of this, if you love your indigos, your chambrays, if you wear a lot of whites or khakis, if you love red, if you want to do a more 4th of July look, it works there. If you love a nautical look, it works there. If you live of every day in blue jeans, it's super great with blue jeans. This to me is one of the easiest pieces to add to your jewelry wardrobe that is one of the most versatile. It's the one you take on vacation because you can wear it with almost everything. So Jay, I find this to be interesting because over the last two days, we've done a lot of crazy unique opals and yet you have another one, but this one's called banded. Where did you find a banded opal? Well, this comes out of, um, okay, so this is a, a banded blue opal. And this is, um, it comes at, I've, I've only experienced, I've only found in 44 years, I've found blue opal three times. Mm -hmm. uh, the very first time was in the 70s. Uh, that was in Peru, and it was Peruvian blue opal. That material is, um, I mean, it's like, it's like gold. It, in fact, if you have the right grade of it, it actually is more expensive weight for weight than gold is. Um, you can't even get it anymore, uh, highly collectible. Wow. The second time that I really got into Blue Opal was actually um, on the uh, Idaho-Oregon uh, border. I, f I flew my plane into, uh, into Boise, Idaho, met the miner, and then Stephen, and the, the, the mine was um, on the Oregon side. We went over, we bought the whole stope, everything that he had, uh, and then uh, that, you know, uh, he ran out of that material. This is the third time that we've had a blue opal. Um, we found this a couple of years ago. And when the person uh, who was brokering the deal, who brought it to me, uh, he showed it to me. And I, I asked him, I said, you know, where did you get it? And this was, this is an offshoot of that story, is, is, why, I'm, is why I'm telling you this story. Um, he, um, he, he, I said, where's, you know, I, I love the material. Um, it looked like an opal. It tested like opal. We hadn't had it GIA tested then, but I know enough about opal that, trust me, I knew it was, you know, the chances of it being opal were pretty about 99%. Yeah. And it, it was beautiful blue, natural blues. Unknown caller, 
And so, sorry. Oops. And is that Sheila? Oops. She's calling from the no. kitchen. <laughs> um, actually, I think it's you guys calling me. Oh, where? And I'm here. <laughs> You should answer it. Let's find out who's calling you from Oops. here. <laughs> Oops. That's okay. So, um, so anyway, he he shows me this material. Right. And and I say, okay, where's it from? And he goes, it's from India. And I said, no, not not who's brokering it, not who's that. I said, who's mining it? Where is it being mined? I, you know, because I want to go see the mine. Sure. And he goes, India. And, <laughs> So this went on. It was almost like a. It was almost like, like a, who's uh, on Abbott first? Castell, yeah, who's Abbott on first? Castell, <laughs> you know, and so finally, um, you know, it came, you know, we finally after you know uh, about an hour and a half of non communication, uh, he we I finally figured out it it comes from India. Now I'm saying that because very little. Everybody, if you knew how many materials that I've seen in my career in my life. You know that people wanted me to go look at the mine, or they wanted me. You know, they wanted to do some business. They say they're from India. They're not from India. You know, the uh, the thing with the the India people, they're they're traders. And and I find them. I have to tell you, I find them in some of the most unusual places. I would say of um, the two the two um, nationalities that I find when I'm traveling the world in the stone industry, believe it or not, are Canadians. And Canadians are usually in the mining industry. A lot of Canadians uh, for for in mining, and then second um, that are in precious um, stones and gemstones and stuff. Or you see a lot of uh, people from India, Indian nationals. And this actually is comes from India. Now I'm telling you that because it, that's very rare that um, that you have anything actually mined in India, or that's. In, in my case, that's that's been the case. This is only the second thing in 44 years I've gotten out of India. Um, this comes out of a huge open pit mine that's abandoned now. And I, I, I can't remember if it was zinc or tin or nickel. It was something that they were mining in, and they abandoned that. And so now the local people go down, and they the, the local villagers uh, are the ones that go and mine this. They mine it out of the seams all by hand. And this was one of the opals that they came up with. And this is very unique. Uh, there's very little of this, okay? And this is banded blue opal. Uh, I mean, the structure on it is just, it's just amazing. It comes out of, the, out of that same uh, deposit though. But I mean, this is pretty much it, guys. And I mean, I can't even believe that they're, that they're selling this, Isn't that, that they're awesome? putting this. Yeah, uh, and yeah. just real quick, I mean, too. It's an unbelievable deal. Um, but Cass it's Jack very in Georgia great. said, with the different variations of color, it's definitely eye catcher. Cam says, I'm surprised the necklace didn't sell out yet. It's gorgeous, perfect size stones. Love it. So, again, just read some of the reviews. And for the first time ever, it's $60 off. So, that's a really awesome savings. All right, Jay, so we're, we're mixing things up a little bit. And I know you'll be ready for this, right? Because I know how <laughs> flexible you are. Here we go. So you guys, we said there was gonna be three brand new mine finds, and we are actually gonna feature the first one right now in this hour, and we all get wildly excited about this because it means if you're brand new, no one has ever, ever seen this stone here on HSN. And chances are no one's ever seen this stone anywhere. So here's our first one, you ready? And we're gonna go for the biggie. Here we go, dun da 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 it's so awesome and the design is amazing so here it is this is called the dragon blood stone it's absolutely not only a brand new necklace it is indeed a brand new discovery and boy is it amazing jay and boy i love what you did too you're like you know what not only we're going to make this a great necklace we're just going to go for it and make it a big showstopper necklace so what's the story behind dragon blood well number one I, I give you I give you three guesses who designed this and your first two guesses don't count. Okay. <laughs> J, first J, two and don't J. Count. <laughs> <laughs> My thing is when you got a new mind find and it's like this, it's it is this cool. Wow. Go big or go home. Okay, wow. just go big or go home. <laughs> if, if you're a mind if you're a mind find person and you're a collector, right? And you really like things that are unique and are different. And things I guarantee you, you're not going to see. Uh, I, you're just not going to see this out, out and about in the world. Um, I mean, I was just amazed when I found this. Um, I found this uh, in the most bizarre way, like I normally do. Um, in the most bizarre way, I, this, when, I, when I first saw this, 
somebody was working on it and they were um, they were making it into like a kind of like a bowl uh, looking thing. It was going to I, I don't know if it was going to be an ashtray or whatever it was going to be. That's how I found the material. It comes out of Africa. And um, this is the most amazing material. And um, they, you know, um, it, uh, it, it started with me finding it, finding the specimen, tracking it down and finding out where this was coming from. And um, uh, we're the only ones I know of uh, you know, this isn't like they even had a bunch of it, right? This was somebody doing it as a hobby. And this is dragon's blood. That's that's actually what they call it, the name of it. It's I, I don't even know how to describe it. It's got these beautiful reds. If you could show a couple of these, or if you show, like, I don't know, Boris, she's got one too. Yeah, or she's wearing one as well, yeah. They're, they're all uniquely different in their own right, okay? I mean, it's just so amazing. And it's, I don't even know how to describe it. You have, like, uh, like green, like that's, I think that's why they call it dragon's blood mm -hmm. because you have these beautiful green, almost like dragon green, a very light, um, a very unique green uh, color to it. Uh, and then you've got this vivid, vivid, bright red, 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 uh, almost like, um, um, almost like bloodstone, yeah, you know, like right. bloodstone red. Yeah. It's just, uh, it's just phenomenal. So cool. um, I, you know, in, uh, do you like it? You know, if you don't like this design, uh, you'll break my heart. <laughs> <laughs> we don't want to break you know, his heart. You know what? I think, you, Jay, there's no way. I think when so, when they get when someone gets this home and they open the box, it's just one of those moments you go, okay, this is one of the coolest stones we've ever seen. And we know there's so many of you who are just like Jay. You're a rock hound. You love the unusual. Can you imagine just wearing this around your neckline and you walk into anywhere, like a grocery store, a doctor's office, or wherever it might be in the future? You know, this is just one of those incredible pieces. Now, this is almost gone. We are down to the final 250. That's going to be sold out. Yeah, I think I look over my shirt, right? My Merlin. And just want to show you the earrings. Now, here's the, t the key about the earrings. And I love that we have the earrings. The odds of Jay ever bringing something like this back again are really very difficult because he'll find it. He'll go big like this one he, he did in this one. And then he uses what he has. And then he hopes that, you know, maybe they'll find some more down the road. Get the earrings. The whole point being is if you skip the earrings, you're going to wonder what in the heck do I wear with this when you get it at home? Right now, I can guarantee we have the matching earrings. They're sterling silver, guys. They have a clasp in the back. Obviously, the butterfly clasp, they're about one inch. And so they're not just a little simple button style. They're a little bit more elaborate. Going back to the necklace, just to give you some details real quick, it starts as 17 to here, even though it drops a little lower. And once again, you have a two and three quarter inch extender on the back. That's awesome, because watch, I can pull it up to here. Sorry, Dustin, I'll do it again. I can wear it here. Okay, so that's summertime, fill a great. Can you imagine if you have a white blouse on and this fills up that neckline of a blouse? I mean, oh my gosh. And then if you go long, watch that. I put a turtleneck on, I'm wearing a cow neck. Maybe I wanna wear it around the collar of my blouse. Then this is the way you can wear it because it's longer. Uh, the clock's in and the limit is there. We have 585 left. Now it's funny because that doesn't count everyone who's online and you're actually talking to somebody. And right now, do a little math. We have 300 people on the line absolutely grabbing this basically collectible piece. Jay, I, I know to this day, it's still, you would think of all the gemstones you've discovered and you've found and you brought to us, I, I'm always in awe that you find new ones. Um, and it's so exciting when you do because it's this is just such an amazing stone. Quite frankly, I've been blessed to do this job for a long time and certainly you've seen a lot of stones, but I've never seen anything quite like this one. It's really very unique. You know, um it, you know, and what you're saying is so true as far as, do you know that every time I go on a trip or I leave, um, after a while, I, I've been doing this for 44 years, okay, and I've gone to pretty much every nook and cranny that I can think of, and you go out, and even the miners, uh, you know, like, when you, miners, they tend to have something that they mine, and then, uh, and then they don't really go for things like this, you know. Um, over the years, um, I have, I, ha I do have a, a lot of the miners that kind of, you know, have caught on to the fact of what I actually do for a living as far as, you know, I'm, I'm looking for materials like this that aren't traditional materials, that are things that, that you normally, um, you, you wouldn't um, think there would be a market for it, but because we, you know, it's what we do, okay, right. is finding unique, finding unusual. Look at this, though, it, on Orshi. Look at this. I mean, 
look at a big, bold piece. And another, another reason that I made this so big and bold is because I really wanted to showcase the material. I really wanted to show it off. But if you're one of those mind fine collectors or you're the rock hounds that really want to have something unique, you want to have something different, you want to have something that nobody else has, these are the kind of things I think that are highly collectible. Yeah. Um, and again, there's not a dragon's blood mine. I, I'm not going to, I don't have even time to tell you the whole story about this, but you know, it was a nightmare. Really? I mean, from the time that we found it, they mined it, they have to mine it. There's no equipment. It all had to be done by hand. They put this in 55 gallon drums. There's no roads. Wow. There's no, it's not like you call up, you know, FedEx or UPS or DHL <laughs> and say, hey, can you go over there and pick this up and, uh, you know, <laughs> drop it off? It, it doesn't even work like that. I mean, it took, it took six months after they got it out of the ground. It took six months just to get it to the port. Uh, oh, uh, to where we could actually put it on a boat no and get way. it in a container and get it shipped to the lapidary shop. So well, I mean, well, just, let me ask you this question. How, much, to to how, how long did it take total from the, the when you first knew about it to when you finished making them? How many oh. months was that? Oh, no, yeah, yeah, it was about two two years, right. maybe even a little bit longer. Like, yeah. it's crazy, yeah. right? You know, a lot of this stuff, you, 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 that's what you, you know, like a lot of the, uh, I will tell you this about TS's on today's specials. Right. Um, a lot of those today's specials, that the materials start three and four years ago. I mean, it's just really crazy. I mean, it's just like, like right. you know, it's not like I walk down to the local store and say, <laughs> you know what? Um, Got you know, any that worked out blood? really good. Yeah, could I have another? Could I have another couple of tons of that? You know, it's just it's, so it's called the mineral really mart. Crazy. You go down to the local yeah. mineral mart and say, "Hey, can you get me some?" Hey, Jay, I got to give an update real quick, buddy. There's uh, less than 100 in both. So when you see that countdown, that includes the amount of earrings I have left. This is your chance. It is almost completely gone. It is way, way beyond our expectations. I know you guys are going to love it, but you've really kind of gone crazy, and I get it. So here's what you get if you want to use our flex pay the necklace you can get home right now for 48 and some change and then the earrings it's 2666 so use our flex and it's easy if you're new it's any major credit card or paypal and in this case you pay it off in three months but we ship it right away it's not layaway i do get asked that a lot i'm like hey are you kidding me and i I've worked here for so long, I just assume people know, but that's dumb. Uh, I should not make assumptions. It's not. You get it right away, and we do not charge any special interest. It's our way of saying, thanks for shopping. We know you want some great stuff. We just make it a little bit easier to spread those payments out. And trust me, if it's a buck 25, I click that uh, flex pay option. I don't care. I'm like, yeah, I'll put it on HSN to carry that stuff. Anyway, stay right there. This is almost gone. Now, here we go. We have not one mine fine, not two. We have three brand new, never seen before, beautiful, beautiful pieces coming up. So there's two more to go. That blue one, I'm not gonna tell you a bit about it, but if you love just that vivid blue, almost looks like Sleeping Beauty, uh, then that's your choice. And then we have another one coming up and we're so excited because these, these both have never ever been on the air before. And Jay is now celebrating his 25th anniversary uh, this fall with us, which is really cool. So, by the way, this is pretty funny. Okay, Jay, we're doing the next one. <laughs> Either I'm too low or this is too tall. I'm just not sure. All right, here we go. <laughs> Slide that over there, how about? That might be a good thing. All right, here we go. So, something that you guys request, and Jay's very familiar with this over and over again, is Jay, can you do something really long, make it longer for us, we want long. So, not only did he say, okay, yeah, I'm gonna give you a long necklace, which is real versatile, but Jay, this is so cool because it's petrified wood, which very much like amber has its own like mysteriousness about it. You know what I mean? Because it's so darn old. I mean, take a tree and, and it's, you know, buried or whatever or crushed until finally it becomes a rock. And I think that's so mysterious and cool. Again, let me show you the size of this. Because I think sometimes when you're at home, it is tough to figure out. But if that was a ring, just that bottom stone, I mean, come on, that would be a huge ring on my finger. Now take that and multiply that through 36 inches. It's one of the longest necklaces we'll do tonight in both hours with Jay. So Jay, where does this one come from? Okay, you know, this is uh, like, like all things, like all good things must come to an end. <laughs> uh, this is something that's um, about to come uh, to an end for us, unfortunately. Um, uh, this is petrified wood. Uh, this material was gathered in the, in the 60s 
and 70s what? Uh, is, oh, is when cool. it was gathered in the United States. This comes from a, a very dear friend of ours, um, and it wasn't there. In fact, they searched my truck when I left there. <laughs> I There's think, Jay, they search your truck when you go in and out of your gated community, okay? <laughs> well, well, let's, let's not, well, it's, that's true, but, you know, but they've never found anything. Oh, good point. You know, yeah, let's they clarify actually that. Could prove. <laughs> but that's the uh, Petrified National Monument, which you're looking there in the United States. And that, that right there, the, you know, petrified wood is carbon dated. It's about 30, or, same as amber. Right. It was developed about the same time, 30 uh, to 50 uh, million years old. It was an organic material at one time. In this case, it was trees uh, that were co covered by volcanic ash. Uh, over millions of years uh, where this, it almost made, like the volcanic ash is very important. Where it doesn't let it oxidize, it seals it up. If the uh, water percolates through the minerals and the minerals replace the wood. Um, this all is different kinds of petrified wood, all from the United States. This comes from a, a lovely gentleman, Phil Johnson. It was his private collection. Petrified wood was his passion. It was his life. Uh, he lived and breathed petrified wood. Phil did us the big honor. Um, and it, it actually, I'll, I'll give credit where credit was due. It was the, the DR team that put this uh, deal together. Um, uh, but they were able, Phil came to us and um, the DR team, uh, and I'm talking over 10 years ago, actually come to think of it, it's probably 15 years ago when we got this. Um, and um, I'm trying to think of when Sheila and I got married. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, yeah. So, um, uh, yeah, it's been a long, long time. Sure. And um, and we got his private collection. Now, we've been working on, on these materials. They, the, you can't get these materials anywhere. They're not available on the marketplace whatsoever. Well, they're now All forbidden, these, right? Like, you can't oh, yeah, yeah, you can't. You, only, you cannot take petrified wood off of public land. Right. It's it's not it's illegal. Right. Um, and it has to come off private property. But even this material, he he gathered, he collected it um, off of uh, ranches in Nevada, in California, oh. in Oregon, in Washington, right. uh, all over anywhere that you have petrified wood in the United States. Phil had a collection of it, and we got his collection when he decided to retire from the business and uh, give up the business then we were able to acquire his complete collection. It was new, really, I don't, I can't even remember. It was four or five containers of no material kidding. is what we ended up with. And we've, we're just down to the last of the last of the material. And you're getting to see this. I know this has got uh, Devil's Gate Juniper in it. Um, I know it's got, um, it's got beech wood in it. I could see that in this. Uh, I can see some petrified swamp bog in that. Uh, there's some archaea uh, wood in there. I could see the archaea. So it's a whole combination, a whole mixture of all the different woods. That, uh, there's petrified redwood in there uh, that that came from California. That's cool. Uh, th there's just uh, there's just uh, I, there's I see cypress in there. There's petrified oh, cool. cypress in there. Yeah. So there's some. Ro what's the rosy color? There's a really beautiful a couple of these that are almost like a rose color. They go very light here at the top. Do you know what that is? Okay, that's a cypress. Oh, that's, that's a cypress a, that's up here. Okay. Yeah. That yeah, is so cool. And, and just a little heads up for, you know, us fashion girls, too. I just want you to see, I'm wearing my Marla Wynn little, um, it's kind of like this long, tanky thing. And look how pretty that is. Just, yeah, a white T-shirt. If you've got your jean jacket on, I just love this elongation. I mean, who doesn't want to look thinner? And that's what this kind of necklace does. Also, just remember, the neat thing about it, and Jay, I don't remember the last time you and I did a petrified wood piece, but you have so many colors to work with. Like, there's grays in here, and there's tans, and there's blacks. There's that rosy color. We go into taupey colors. And so for me, Jay, this is almost a chameleon stone because the wood came from all those different locations. Whatever color you happen to wear, it'll typically either be a beautiful contrast or it's going to match or pick up that color in the necklace because there is a lot of variety of colors here. Yeah, you know, and here again, you're getting, you're getting something, think about this, okay, number one, you're getting something 30 to 50 million years old. You're also getting something that came out of a private collection. You're getting, even these petrified woods, like I said, you can, even if you went to the Tucson Gem and Mineral Show, people don't even have specimens of, of these particular uh, petrified woods anymore. You just don't see it, and you sure as heck don't see the rough material anymore. You just, it's just not available for cutting. Um, so what I love, I, I just love the uniqueness of the material. 
Um, I love the history of the material, but also this is the very first time we have never done a petrified wood necklace, 36 inches. Um, I decided to, you know, this was kind of by um, customer request, viewer request. They like a lot, uh, they've been asking for a lot of these longer necklaces. If you notice, I actually did, this is one of the first 36 inch necklaces I've ever done that's graduated too. Yes. So, but you can still, there's a lot of different things you can do, a lot of different ways you can wear it and yeah. accessorize with it. Yeah, no, I totally appreciated that because a lot of times, in fact, our next necklace you're about to see has a more uh, traditional size beads. It starts out very small in the back and then it gets very, very large. As I mentioned, I mean, think about that. If that one darn stone was a ring right there, that is a huge, let me cover it up. I know, we moved, but look at that. I mean, it's just a huge ring, right? And then you're gonna get all of these stones in this one long necklace. I'm leaving it on for the moment, only because Jay, we gotta keep moving. We have more to get to, you ready for this? This is another brand new piece. I am so excited about this show because there's just fine finds and brand new pieces and we still have some great clearance prices coming up. I have an item that's almost $100 off and hint, hint, I might be wearing it. <laughs> How was that for a hint, Jay? <laughs> okay, $100 off coming up. All right, so Jay I miss now. I miss being on the set with you and, and working with you. I, I do. I do. I miss you so much. She's like. <laughs> but we have more fun. We, we have more fun. Yeah, I know. I know. It's just like I miss everybody. It's like such a bummer, but we do have a great time. But at least we're having fun this way, too. Come on. We're no, going to no, make no, it no. work. I'm, get, I'm getting used to it. Yeah, it's a little uh, different, I, isn't it? I'm kind of I'm kind of getting used to working in shorts, you know. <laughs> <laughs> you're like in gym. You're like, okay, I'll put a decent shirt on. <laughs> well, that's, that's what Sheila's. You know, like I, I have to tell you, it's so funny because you know, like get ready to come out, and she goes, seriously, you're gonna wear that. <laughs> She did that to you every day. Come on. <laughs> That's, she does that even when I'm on the when I'm on TV on, she, at, at the show. She lays out oh, all of his clothes. Work. She makes yeah, him she take. Does. She lays it all out and he has to bring them to the does. studio. <laughs> she doesn't she trust does. him. I can she go trust there him. right now. I can show you in my closet where she had my she's got had my jackets all laid out with the shirts for the show I was supposed to do in April. Right. She, they're still in the closet. You're collecting <laughs> dust, right? All right, so let's move on, Jay. Okay, here we go. Another brand new item. It's the first Aaron. You guys are getting the first look at it. It's fabulous. If you love amethyst, February birthstone, which is great. This is a multi-gemstone beaded necklace. And we started out at 36 with the necklace that you guys are loving, the petrified wood. Oh, no, no, no. We can outdo that one. How about, you ready? Oh, my God. This is 60 inches long, and the things you can do with this are astronomical. Whether you wear it knotted, if you want to do a trissade and twist it up, if you want to triple it up, most people will be able to do that. There is a sterling silver clasp on the back, which allows you to really have fun with this one and really play with it. So Jay, obviously we can see the Annie on here, but you've actually included a couple of other really unique stones. What else are we seeing on this necklace? Uh, on this one, you have the pink opal, right? And the right here. Uh, I really, oh, okay. So uh, on this, that's mother of pearl, and we have or, pink morganite. Aqua, You've got pink morganite. morganite. Pink morganite and um, yellow what, metal meadow stone. Okay, so you got gaspiite. Uh, the I I this is I don't think this is Zambian amethyst. I, I think that's African. I know it's African amethyst. Right. You've got morganite. Uh, you've got um, Meadowstone, uh, yellow meadowstone. Uh, yellow meadowstone, and there's aquamarine on there too, yeah, right? Yeah, blue aqua, yep, blue aquamarine. Yeah, yeah, you have, yes, yeah, so it's yellowstone, pink morganite. We have uh, the aquamarine itself, and your Amy came from Zambia. Yes, your Amy's from Zambia. Okay. It's pretty so, piece. Yeah, yeah th this is a unique combination, but here the thing on, on these, um, with the 60 inches, what we try to do is, well, number one, I try to break them up. I, I try to keep them as natural, but um, we do this by viewer request, it, you know, like, um, so if I do a, if I do a, like a, a 26 or 28 inch necklace, we always have people that get a hold of me. They, um, you know, email me, um, they'll, or they'll write me and they'll say, can you do it a little bit longer? And this is about as long as I felt comfortable. I have even had requests for 72 inches, but I love this. And you see, like, or she's wearing it now. I mean, she's always so great about accessorizing with this. But do you see, 
because these are smaller beads and separate, so she was able to, to wear this, like she could take this, you could double this up, you could triple this up, you, uh, depending on your neck size, you could even sometimes go four times. Uh, you can do different layers, you can do a lariat. Um, I've seen people where they've wrapped these and make bracelets out of them. I, you, if you, depending on your side, you can double this up and make a belt out of it. Yeah. Um, you can um, uh, make like a Y necklace out of it. There's just so many different ways to wear it. Crew, I'm slowly standing up as slow as I could possibly. I just want to show you too, because you're talking about it. Look, super long. That's all I'm going to talk about. All right, there we go. Now we're going to move on. I just, I love it. I love that length. And by the way, the petrified wood we had on just a moment ago, there are 90 left. This is going to be sold out in just a second, guys. Your item number is 706-920. But now, big, big drum roll on this one. This, I'm telling you guys, hang out because this show is full of surprises. We have another brand new item and here it is. It's our showstopper. It's the first time we're airing it. We've got a great feature price. You're saving 20 bucks tonight. We have three flex pays on this. Again, 18 inches long. You do have your two and three quarter inch sterling silver extender on the back with a little clasp and you have the matching earrings if you want to pick those up. Those are about a half an inch and they're also featured price. So I love it, Jay, because because we're just talking about, you know, that wow, wow turquoise piece. But where is this turquoise from? Okay, um, this is what makes this so unique. <clears throat> uh, you know, we, we're getting, uh, of course, you know, I used to get like all of my turquoise, when I first started out, um, all the turquoise and all the turquoise mines that I worked with were all in the United States. There were 27 of those uh, that I worked with. Uh, of those 27, there's one that's operational now. That of those 27, there's still there's a couple other small mines, but of the 27 originals, there's only one. Uh, then we went to Mexico, uh, then we went to China, and then we went to South America, mm -hmm. and then we went to Mongolia. And uh, we're going someplace else, but I'm not going to tell people until after I got my deals. I'll, I'll solidify it, okay? <laughs> so, <laughs> uh, but this material, believe it or not, this comes out of Chile. Wow. Um, now. There, there isn't a lot of this material. This was just kind of like a really weird one-off uh, uh, type deal uh, that we were able to do with this. And um, it's, it because usually the Chilean material is more on the blue side. This is like a blue-green, like a tealy color. But we only, uh, when we were sorting this for color, we just got, we had one batch that came in and it, um, it was very unique, very different, and it was more kind of like a, on the tea leaf side. Very unique, very different, very unusual for that area. It's, and I love the color combinations. Because you know what, Jay, I was talking about earlier, one of my very favorite ways to wear turquoise is wear it with brown. So khakis, browns, you know, chocolate colors, espresso, fall colors, whatever. And this has that unique combination. And I think that what that's what makes it so darn attractive is you've got that green blue and then the contrast there. The, see, you see a brighter blue when I turn that bead around, right? How cool is that? And then you have the contrast of that chocolatey brown, the taupes inside there, even a darker, see that darker brown on the edge. And so for me, I knew I was attracted to this piece simply because I love turquoise and brown together. It, it's kind of magical how those two, two tones work really well. Well, you know, what I, I find unique and uh, unusual about this, and here again, the, the area that this came from uh, usually is really um, even high blue material. Mm -hmm. And so to, to actually uh, to find a vein that came out like this is really kind of funky. I mean, you know, like it's very unusual. And it set, we only had, we had um, uh, about, there was about 20 buckets of nuggets. Okay. And each bucket's about 50 to 55 pounds. And it sat there forever and ever and ever. And finally, um, there wasn't enough of one color that I could like cut cabochons, right? right. I, I didn't feel comfortable with that. So I thought, you know what? Um, I'm just gonna blow it all. <laughs> just, you know, just, what, what's that, Texas Hold'em? I'm all in, I'm all in. So, you know, I'm gonna go to Vegas and play Texas Hold'em just so I can say that, right? <laughs> um, so, um, but um, uh, I, I just went in, all in on this material. Like I said, what makes this so so different and so unique is that this material, usually from this, from this deposit, from this mine, is not this color. And, um, that's kind of rare because, you know, turquoise, um, just, so you, just to give you a quick education, there's, there's 27 different, um, 26 or 27 different minerals and elements that need to be um, uh, available for turquoise to form.
That's why you don't find turquoise in every, even every continent in, in the world. Uh, it's fairly rare. And so um, what, what's um, unique about this is it, if the more, okay, it, there are two elements that you have to have is you have to have copper and you have to have aluminum. And so when, uh, when you have more copper in the material, usually it's more of a, it's, it tends to be bluer. When you have a little bit more aluminum in it and aluminum oxides, it tends to be a little bit greener. So for some reason, when this was developed, that, that's what happened to it. Oh, it's just outstanding. I absolutely adore this piece. And when you think about it too, turquoise has such a great tradition, not only a fantastic Americana tradition, but literally loved and, and coveted throughout the world. And this was just that easy piece to wear. Also notice too, that it's graduated. You start with very small beads in the bottom and then they get quite large here when you get to the very, uh, the kind of the center of it. And so you have such a pretty look when you wear turquoise and you can wear it with so many things. I was saying this earlier, you you know, right now you wear it with your whites and your khakis and, and taupey colors and everything we love about summer colors or yellows or go with reds, obviously with any kind of denim it works. But then I love turquoise, especially in the fall when the leaves start to change and you bring out the thicker, more textured materials. Uh, Jay, it was interesting. I was doing a Diane Gilman show the other day and I had on a wild kind of crazy printed blouse we were launching and it had crazy colors in it, but it absolutely had turquoise and I was wearing all turquoise with this blouse and there was pinks and yellows and it was a great blouse, right? But the turquoise just popped. It was so neat to see, you know, what most people consider kind of a southwestern -y look with a wildly, wildly, almost um, like chain link, think, um, think beautiful scarves, Hermes scarves. That was kind of what the prints were like. And the turquoise works beautifully, very, very dressed up. And I think a lot of people miss that when they think Think about wearing turquoise. Yeah, you know, and I will I will say this about you. Um, I have I see you and I you have a favorite turquoise necklace and I, I see do. you constantly wear it. Yes. And you know and <laughs> it's I, a multi strand really, one. I gotta tell you I get I get a real charge out of that because <laughs> I remember when we actually you and I launched that and we saw that but that that has to be your favorite yes. piece, isn't it? Because yes. you're constantly I see it and it, it's not it's not when you're showing it because you're selling jewelry you're right. selling something else and it's your own personal thing yes it's your own personal necklace i you, love it you it's love a, it enough that I, you wear it and i'm yeah. telling you it's a triple strand piece and i adore it and i've yeah. got your cuffs and i've got rings and stuff but that necklace you're right it's my favorite and it's turquoise and so if you have that love affair with turquoise add this to your collection tonight we do not have a lot of these left guys so stay on the line for it please don't forget about the earrings really great little simple button style earrings this will work back to your other turquoise easily too so if you're a layerer this is terrific for that. All right, Jay, let me do a couple of updates here. All right, now we started out with three brand new mine finds. How many do we have left of the one we've just launched? The, okay, the dragon, I don't know where it's at. Dragon's Blood. Oh, here it is, okay. Okay, good. All right, here we go. This is called Dragon's Blood, and it's one of the coolest stones I've ever seen. Jay, we launched it tonight, brand new. They are, they were down to 80 necklaces left. Do I have any earrings? Okay, here we go. Make sure you grab the matching earrings because it's gonna be darn hard to find anything to match this because it is so unique. We're down to 80 of the earrings. So really limited, limited. That's the first brand new mine find of three still to come tonight. And it's the first time it's ever been on the air. No one's ever seen it. It's a brand new stone. And chances are you'll never see it again. <laughs> anywhere. I'm talking about anywhere in the world, right? So I just wanna give you a reminder of that. All right, what are we doing next? What about it? Oh, we're doing the Chalcedonian turquoise? Okay, here we go. This is another brand new item. And it is, see, I told you we had a great show. I've got to grab it, so hang on one second. There is my showstopper. <laughs> Just doing a little business here. There's my showstopper. This is my Chalcedony. You ready? You ready? Here we go. La. Yes, this is so beautiful, you guys. Oh. My gosh, I couldn't wait to get to this one. Look at how big those stones are to begin with. They're all completely faceted. Then you have that incredible turquoise, and this is um, 
bright, bright blue discs that are separating those faceted beads. Stunning, stunning piece. We got both brand new, first time you're seeing it. The appraised value, I have to point this out, on the earrings are $100. And so that means these are basically 50% off. And the appraised value on the necklace is $275. 18 inches, and once again, you do have your extender on the back. Jay, I can't wait to hear the story behind this. Is this, uh, is this amazing it's or beautiful. what? It is beautiful. Like, yeah. showstopper beautiful. <laughs> Well, you know, in, in Chalcedonies, they, they come in every color of the rainbow. Um, but this is probably, and I, and I, and not just because it's a new mind finder, I'm trying to, you know, sell, get, you know, I, you know, I'm not trying to sell it to you, but I think what really is interesting about finding new things again, and for us to have three in this two hours, right? So um, is really um, kind of 